All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. This is my third video back, and I'm actually very excited for this video. I've been thinking of making this video for a while, and think you guys will absolutely enjoy it. So today, we are going to be talking about the worst football conditioning drills. Now, football is synonymous for having really hard conditioning drills, given the circumstances of wearing all those pads, the heat in the summer. And uh, we're gonna be going over the worst ones. Everybody knows conditioning is the hardest part of practice, physically and uh, it's a necessary evil. So by me saying it's the worst, it's just kind of meaning simply that it will get you into shape the quickest and be the toughest on that given day. So we're gonna start off with the first one, and this is a conditioning drill that I did a ton freshman year, not as much sophomore and junior year, but we still did it a pretty good amount, and that is 110s. And 110s are exactly what it sounds like. It's 110 yards, so basically you start at your goal line, you run all the way to the end line of the back end zone. So, but the back line of the end zone, so it's total 110 yards. It's it's tough because, you know, in football, you don't really usually run more than 50 yards on, on a play. I mean, unless you're a skill player running a 90 yard touchdown, it gets you into shape really quickly, I will say, but it's tough. And especially if you are doing that after a long practice of running and stuff. Let me know if you guys do that because I really didn't hear about 110s before, before I started playing at my high school. So another one that's not that prevalent in football I think is suicides or I really haven't done a ton of suicides suicides are more for basketball just because it's more back and forth we have done suicides up to like 30 yards usually to be like 10 back 20 back 30 back something along those lines and those can be really tough it's just that we don't do them a lot suicides definitely will get you tired really quickly especially if you do a, a couple rounds of them so suicides are on this list definitely tiring especially stopping and going stopping and going stopping and going and the length of the sprint continues the next one is gassers now a lot of people have different versions of gassers the way that my team does it are half gassers so for us we go down to one sideline and back so it's around like 100 yards in total gassers definitely will get you tired especially um when another element is added in which which i will talk about how other people do it but i think the most gassers we have done were probably like I want to say 21, which that was a tough day. I think there were some throw-ups. It's definitely like the most rewarding conditioning drill you can do. In a way, they're my favorite, but in a way, they're definitely hard and definitely one of the hardest ones in football. So another one, it's kind of general, but this is any type of sprint with up-downs before and after the sprint. So a lot of people have to do these sometimes. There are some fun ways to do it. I've seen people, or what we've done is, you know, we'll like, do a 100 yard sprint but it'll blow the whistle and we'll, we'll do an up down and then get back up and continue sprinting those aren't that bad because those are kind of fun because you can put your own twist on it you can do a little dive out you can do a somersault that was fun we did that near the end of the year last year but if you have to do 10 up downs then go sprint come back 10 up downs again then go sprint that can be really tiring it's really useful because if you think about it in football in simple terms it's running knock down, running, knock down in the most basic form of football. It really does help in, for in-game conditioning, but it is tough. It is very tough doing a full, doing a half or full gasser, then doing up downs and doing up downs again, doing another gasser. It, it can get tough, but it definitely can get you uh, prepared for the game. So the last worst conditioning drill for football is hills. Now, I don't know if a ton of high schools have a hill by their school, but we have a hill directly adjacent to our practice football field. So if you're on the far end zone, you look left, there is a giant hill, steep. It's not very long, but it's really steep. And boy, freshman year was when we did it the most. And we would run on that thing almost every day. And it's one thing when you just do sprints and stuff, running up and then jogging down, running up, jogging down, running up, jogging down. But it's another when your coach makes you do backwards bear crawl up the hill. That was probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to do with foot with with football gear on anything. The one of the hardest things to do. Backwards bear crawl up a hill and then having to jog back down, do it again. We did regular bear crawl up. That wasn't as difficult. And then we did crab walk. We would sometimes, um, what else did we do? We did like high knees up it. It would just get, our coach would get really creative with it. It was it, it was fun at some times, you know, because it was like muddy and we were all getting our jerseys wet and, you know, dirty, which is all always fun. Backwards bear crawl up the hill. It's synonymous at our school for being one of the hardest conditioning drills in, in any of the sports. So, Anything to do with hills is, is painful, but it really does help with your explosiveness and getting in shape for sure because of the resistance of, you know, going up a hill. 
But man, when you have to implement the bear crawl, crab walk, backwards bear crawl, uh, shuffling, I think we did karaoke up it. We would get really creative with it. But that can get really, really tough. So that's all I have. That was the uh, top five. Was it top five? Let me look at my phone. One, two, uh, that was top five worst football conditioning drills. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys have been enjoying the uh, uploads lately. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. Really excited to be back and making videos. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Quarterback HD signing off. Peace.